So hi folks, here's to a happy, healthy and clear 2023 for all of you. Thanks for watching. You're actually watching RC Astro's Blur Exterminator in Pix Inside. This add-on has been the talk of the town for the past couple of weeks and it does a wonderful job on my Crescent Nebula, Nebula as you can see. At the same time, I can imagine that some people wonder, hey, isn't there an alternative because yeah, RC Astro's Blur Exterminator, it's about $99, it's an add-on, and for some people that may be a bit steep. So let me show you an old ninja trick that I've learned a couple of uh, years ago actually, using Photoshop on how to sharpen your picture. So I'm going to export this Crescent Nebula to a 16-bit TIFF file here, and let me show you how I used to sharpen my images in Photoshop. So hi guys, the first thing I'm doing in Photoshop is copy paste a couple of layers. So Ctrl C, Ctrl V to add a couple of layers in Photoshop. And I'm going to create a layer mask here in layer two. And I'm going to copy paste the Crescent Nebula. So the picture of the Crescent Nebula into that layer mask. Now after doing that, I'm going to apply an overlay to that particular layer, to layer two in this case. And um, I'm going to apply a high pass filter. So I'm going to go to filters and you have to select other. So filters, other, and then you select high pass overlay. Now, I usually keep the radius to about 20 to 30 uh, using the high pass overlay. And let me show what this high pass overlay does. So here you can see a little preview of what it can do. Um, let me also click on OK and let me zoom in here. So uh, this is the difference. You can clearly see that the Crescent Nebula is a bit sharper after applying the high pass overlay in Photoshop. So let me merge the two uh, layers here into one. And one thing that does happen is that when you apply the high pass uh, layer, the high pass filter, uh, your stars go are going to end up a little bit bigger and brighter. So uh, an extra thing you can do to reduce the size of the stars is to go to select and select color range. You can select a particular star and yeah, you have to take care here and with the fuzziness to only select stars. I'm also selecting a little bit of the Crescent Nebula for now, so I'm not doing a very good job, but anyway. So the next thing you can do is expand selection. So you're going to, um, to select and modify and then click on expand to actually expand the circles a bit around those stars. I'm usually doing that one or two times. And then after that, I'm going to click on filter other minimum. And you can see if I'm applying a radius of just one here, uh, you can see that, uh, that uh, the size of the stars actually reduce. So let me apply that filter and let me show you what the end result of all of this is actually. So, you can see that with the high pass filter, I'm actually able to um, yeah to sharpen the nebula a bit, and with the color range uh, steps, I'm able to reduce the the size actually of the stars. So maybe this was a bit uh, quick this tutorial, but I will also create an action. And you can download uh, that action in the video description below and you can use, you can just import, upload and use that action so you can see the different steps I have taken in this particular tutorial video. So let me also show you how to import actions in Photoshop. So when you click on actions, you have a menu on the top right of that particular uh, action menu and you click on load actions and you can select blur x all. This is how I named blur exterminator alternative. <laughs> and uh, when you select it, you can just click on blur x alt and press the play button and it will execute all the steps that I've shown you in the tutorial. So it uh, will apply the high pass filter and it will also reduce the, the size of the stars. And you can hear, you can see here, uh, what the difference is. So you have three layers with the third layer being the end result and the first uh, layer uh, being the picture you started with. So for, for sure this is not perfect but you can at least look at the history and look at the steps I've taken and see if this is useful for you. So with that I wish you a happy, healthy and clear 2023.